big up, big up, big up. Welcome back, my viewers. Welcome back, my sub. Welcome back to another upload. So quick and fast, we are getting to some interesting topics. So first on the list, JCF invites public to report criminal exist for Valentine's Day. The Valentine's Day is in full swing for some, and the Jamaica Constable Force JCF wants in on the action promising valentine's day surprise for people who are involved in criminal activities the jcf on monday kicked off a social media campaign encouraging people to call crime stat at 311 operation kingfish 811 or the police at 119 emergency to report those wrongdoers valentine's day is not over yet you can still have fun Reporting an ex or a current partner who may be involved in criminal activities. We want you to be happy, but we also want you to be safe. Read a tweet on the JCF official Twitter page, which include the hashtag, report them and give them up. In another tweet, which had an accompanying video the jcf said it has a special this valentine's evening for all wanted men check out the special accommodation package we have for them by calling crime stop jamaica at 311 or operation kingfish at 811 the tweet continue engaging campaign are not new to the JCF as when it launched it wanted Wednesday campaign almost a year ago. It created a quiet a buzz among social media users. Two at the time, many like its name, the trend setting weekly dance and parties like Uptown Mondays, Bosey Tuesdays and Weddy Weddy Wednesday. When the JCF kicked off its latest social media campaign on Monday, it also received a positive feedback from social media users. Fighting crime by any means necessary. Love it. Tweet Johnny D. Facebook user Tedra Linson said, I don't know why I love this new police force so much. They been killing it these days. Speaking with the news on Monday evening, Inspector Shanjay Mitchell of the Constable Corporation Communication unit said the campaign will run for the remaining of February as the JCF Wanted Wednesday campaign is still ongoing and has been very successful. The campaign was designed to target wanted persons and to relay some of them about lessening violence, learning to love and enjoy the season of love at the same time. Inspector Mitchell said, adding, that person can align themselves to the campaign and share information with the police. The campaign is a reminder that the Jamaica Constable Force is not this disorder dinosaur in the security industry, but we are invite and we are thinking forensic. We are targeting young people on social media platform, he said. The inspector of police said the team at the CCU sought to create a campaign that would not only resonate with the public but also members of the JCF. Some viewers you hear that you can go and can go on the man, join on the team and get the thing them together. Give up the little criminal them. Eat is on. Men who escaped fatal shooting of crony turned themselves in. So viewers, this one here, I want to grab a cup of coffee tea 
and a tough crackers. This is one I go get. <laughs> well, serious. Two of Westmoreland's most wanted men who reportedly engaged the police in a firefight on Saturday, February the 12th, have turned themselves in to the law enforcers. They are Mosey Ramsey, otherwise called Satan, of Burn Savannah in Russia, district in Westmoreland. Davine Bennett, otherwise called Santa, of Idle District, Bloomfield in Westmoreland. Reports are that shortly before midday on Saturday, the Westmoreland police were on an operation in the hills overlooking Bloomfield in the parish when men were seen dressed in army fatigue and walking around with guns. The men reportedly allied engaged the police in a firefight, doing which Andre Hines, otherwise called Bunny, was fatally conned up. Ramsey and Bennett, who were reportedly among the gunmen, managed to escape from the scene but turned themselves into the police on Monday, February 14th. The police had declared that Ramsey and Bennett were at the scene of the shooting and warned them to promptly surrender. There will be full enforcement of the law against gangs and criminality in the Westmoreland space. We will not relent until criminals are placed behind bars, said Deputy Superintendent Adrian Hamilton, Operation Officer for the Division. In the event we are attacked by criminal elements, the appropriate force will be used. We appeal to criminals to peacefully surrender when accosted by the law enforcer. The police continue to urge persons to be vigilant and report wanted persons to their local police or crime stop 311. Persons are being encouraged to report suspicious or strange persons or activities in and around their communities. The police are also imploring citizens to help law enforcers to keep them safe by refusing to harbor criminals not only is it serious offense for which they can be criminal charges, but it's also expose the citizens harboring the criminals to considerable risk of being armed, the police said. So if it was the two wanted man them were engaged to police them on Saturday got a fear warning to turn themselves in and which they did. So viewers, that's a good look. Not only that them turn themselves into the police, but them do it very quick. Quick and fast in less than two days. Them turn in themselves. That's a good look. Biker, edgy, can up in Migril. The Westmoreland police are investigating the circumstances surrounding a slap away of a resident of the parish who was gunned down on Saturday night in Migril. The deceased have been identified as 23 year old Nicholas Campbell, also known as edgy, of Nopperel Road in Migril. Reports from the police are that about 10 pm. Residents heard loud explosion and suspected to be gunshots coming from a section of White or Negril area and called them. Upon their arrival, the police found a wounded Campbell lying on the roadway with his motorcycle was spotted nearby. Campbell was taken to the Savlamar Public General Hospital where E was pronounced or E was so viewers continue to like, share and subscribe.